Do you guys see this? I almost had a mini heart attack. I literally thought my game got reset, but thank goodness that's not the case. Anyways, guys, welcome back to Mario and Luigi Paper Jam. I'm Sully Pones, and today we're going to be exploring this gloomy wood with Luigi in hopes to find Paper Mario and Mario. Uh, it's going to be exciting, I guess. You know, Luigi, my boy here, we haven't had a minute with him by ourselves. It's just like always him and Mario and Paper Mario, and everybody's always picking on this little bastard. So now, today is our day, or our time, rather to prove to everybody that Luigi is capable. He's not as incapable as he looks, you know? He's just scared of ghosts, and it's perfectly fine, man. I hate ghosts, too. I, I, I'm I terrified of ghosts. You know, whenever I hear anything in my apartment or in my house, because now I live in a house now with my roommates and stuff, but, like, when I'm in my room at night and I hear noises that are coming from my room that aren't noises that are outside or they're in my room and nobody else is in my room besides me, I instantly assume it's a ghost. I can hear noises downstairs, and I wouldn't think it's a killer. I would instantly assume it's a freaking, uh, it's a ghost. Like, this guy! I hate ghosts, man. Oh, God. Okay, so I can't go through here, because this mofo is going to keep looking behind him. Oh, okay. Woo! Just freaking climb over the fire. Oh, God. What? Okay, okay, okay. Wait, so I'm supposed to just go through here, right? Woo! Oh, come on, boo! Are you serious, my boy? So what, what? That's not the area, then? Am I just supposed to go like this? Uh, are you going to tell me it's the same way, man? Uh, he's going to tell me it's the same Dude, come on, man! This is ridiculous. I don't like going the long path. I, it's like right there. I could just cross the thing, and I'll be there. Okay, now I've come to a crossroad. Do I take the left path or the right one? I'm going to say the left, because as you can see, the right... Or the right path, I mean. The left path has the booze. Because the, um, the, the, those... Dang, those flowers are lit, my boy. But those flowers, man, they, they'd go off and on, and then, yeah, just, there's something weird about that, so it just, it made it obvious that the booze were in there, obviously. But anyways, we got another crossroads here, left or right, um, definitely right, left is obviously the one with the boo, as you can see, the leaves are sort of surrounding the little bastard. But yeah, that's, that's, that was pretty easy, it was a nice quest, we have like, what, 38 seconds to spare? I wonder if they're gonna make us do that throughout this entire forest. Constantly just going through back and forth from one spot to the next. Looks like we have to do this again. Alright guys, here we go. Once again, we got to do one of these things. And as you can see, we have a minute and 58 seconds to go. Or I guess they gave us a minute and 58 seconds for some reason. Actually, I don't even know if I'm headed the right way. I kind of feel like I am, but at the same time, I feel like I'm not. So... Hopefully, oh god, why do they keep doing that, man? That's that's not nice. I have headphones on, and they're really loud, so whenever those come out, it makes a lot of noise. But, yo. Ooh, what is this? Oh, paper booze now, so I gotta... Oh, I was supposed to pay attention to the path. Oops. Um, I think it was like... I think it was like... No, that was not it, man. Oh, God. I have barely any time. I have a minute and 24 seconds. Oh, they're doing it again? Okay. Reshuffle the booze. Okay, so I see the path. It's straight up. Um, This guy is going to go up to the top. So I'm supposed to go like this. Like this. Like this. Like this, maybe. And like this. Yeah, I did it, man. Okay, that wasn't as bad as it looked. And we still have a minute and 17 seconds. But I really don't know, like, if uh, this is almost over or not. I hope it is, because I don't know if I like this. I don't like being on the spot. Plus, the fact that Luigi's walking this slow isn't fun. It's like, why are you walking like a slow poke, my boy? What is this? Okay, I don't get this. How am I supposed to cross? Oh! Okay, that's easy. I just have to be patient and wait. Wait to see what happens. Oh, man. Okay, and that is that. We did it. We passed the circle of booze. The little C. The C cup booze. That's what they are. They're called the C boo. Can you see the booze, man? We got 50 some seconds left, which is pretty nice. And just like that, we made it to a new area here in the forest. Yo, what is happening here? What is this, dude? That is Mario. We found Mario, but why is he standing like that? It doesn't. I knew it. It was so obvious that it was just going to be a boo. And so, so what, this entire place is just going to be filled with Mario's then? This is weird. I don't know how I feel about this. As Luigi, I would be very scared. Seeing your brother in the worst freaking, like, 
Like, the worst thing's possible happening to him. Like, right here, he's probably vomiting or something, dying. And this guy right here is probably, like, I don't know, dying as well. And then all these... Hey, I see him. He's over there. I'm supposed to get over there. I'm, I gotta get over there. But actually, before I go save Mario, let me actually check out the rest of this area really quickly, just in case... Uh, there's something that I shouldn't skip over, like this example is nothing. Nothing really fancy. Can I hit this? And nothing happens, of course, because it's not a Mar- it's not a Luigi block, but... It doesn't look like there's any more copy Marios in this area of the forest. It was just in the- the beginning area. So now we can go save your boy Mario once and for all. Look at that. Now these guys are having fun. They're conversating. This guy is looking up at the sky- actually, he's looking up at that POW block. Go ahead and get that. That's pretty nice, and then you got two more Marios over here. So at least these guys look like they're having fun in comparison to the ones that we saw when we first entered this area. Those guys look like they were being tortured, man. But there he is, Mario! We finally saved him. I honestly thought it was going to take a lot longer than this. I didn't know it was going to be that short before we went about saving Mario. If you guys remember back in, like, Superstar Saga, there was, like, a, a section with Luigi where he had to save Mario, and it was actually a rather long section. It, I think it was like a couple episodes where we just played as Luigi. Mario, I'm so glad you're safe. It was touch and go with Luigi there for a while. Where's Luigi, you ask? Well, about that. Look down. You squashed him, you freaking monster. But who are we kidding? He's fine. Look at that. He's just happy to see his brother. Are they gonna hug? You guys gonna hug it out, bro it out? Probably. Yeah, they did. Reunited with Mario. Aw, that's this that is the cutest story in the world. Aw, you guys are so cute. Now we just need to find Paper Toad. Alright, now we gotta find Paper Toad, and I forgot I can't freaking I can't run fast. But now Luigi's now not walking like a freaking slowpoke, which is awesome. Cause that was kind of annoying. I'm um, having to deal with that. But anyways, I think if we hit that, yep, platforms will appear kind of what have I uh, what I expected? Um, let's see. Now I guess what we have to save Paper Mario next, right? Oh, did you find him? Did you, do you see Paper Mario? You do see Paper Mario, very suspiciously standing over there on an island with nothing on it. So pa maybe Paper Mario sees something that we can't. Maybe he sees the King Boo. I'm actually kind of nervous to go over there now because I don't know if I'm gonna start or initiate a King Boo boss battle. I kind of have a very strong feeling I will. Considering that Paper Mario is out there on his lonesome, and we, uh, we, we stopped King Boo from kidnapping us, so... King Boo's probably gonna be pissed, man. Uh, but anyways, we haven't had a throwback battle with just Mario and Luigi since the very beginning of the game. Ever since Paper Mario joined, joined us, this game hadn't been the same. Um, it's obviously been better, but I'm just saying, like, the bros haven't been the same, if that makes sense. So now we could just battle with these guys and see what it's like again. Look at that. Nice and easy dodging those attacks. I probably should use the rest of my battle cards right now, considering that, you know, I want to start fresh. And at the same time, I want to start rebuilding my battle star points. Um, I don't know. I'm thinking kind of for the next rank up to get that battle star thing where it gives you like 10 battle star points at the beginning of, I think, every... I don't even know if it's at the beginning of every battle or at the beginning of every card reset. I really don't know. It's because it's a rank up. Um, so I'm not entirely sure how it would go about working, but... I'm thinking of doing it. I might try it and then see what it's like, and then if I don't like it, reset the game. Like, just try it without saving for a bit, and then if I don't like it, I can just reset the game and then do it again. Oh god, I failed that one. Okay. whoop de doo I don't know why I clicked A so fast on that. It's kind of hard to do that attack when uh, you're battling against smaller enemies, because you can't really see, like, the point of them. Okay, what is happening? Dude, I, I deflected that attack. It's weird, because I didn't really know... How many boos were gonna attack me the first time around? Okay, there we go. How did he get six again? Are you serious, man? You're not supposed to have six. You're supposed to have, like, less than that because we already attacked you. And then he is crumpled. So what does that mean? If he's crumpled, he can't attack with all of his copy forms? Is that what it means? Because I think that happens when Paper Mario gets crumpled. And it only happens, too, like, when I jump on them, which is nice. So you know Paper enemies have, like, oh, God. Okay, so one. What? Are you kidding me? Sometimes they'll do two, sometimes they'll do three. It's random, dude. This one's gonna be... There we go. How are these guys not dead? Level 28 paper boos. They're, they're stronger than me, which is pretty crazy to think about. But yet, they don't do as much damage as I'm doing to them, which is also very weird. But at the same time, 
I don't know. I don't know if I should be uh, leveling up more. I'm trying to think if I should level up. I kind of feel like I should just probably level up to level 30. So that way, by the next episode, if there is a boss battle, which I'm leaning towards there will be a boss battle, then I could just go ahead and be prepared for it and not have to worry about being underleveled or training again in the near future. So might as well just get out of the way. But then again, Paper Mario isn't with us, so it kind of sucks. So I really don't have a point, or I really don't have um, much of a choice than just to go attack. The King Boo himself, and that's it. Um, I'm actually going to use Bro Attacks this time around, though, just because I want to see if Bro Attacks will kill him in a quicker fashion than just Jump Attacks. I've just been using Jump Attacks just because I know I got, like, a ton of new gear um, that help increase your jumps and your hammers. So I'm like, might as well use it and get the most of it. But we're going to do this Rocket Blast, whatever it is. And, woo, take off. There we go. And who's going to land first? Luigi Mario. And flippy flop. Oh, gosh. There we go. Excellent. Got a critical as well. I don't know why, but on every attack that I do, um, like that, on a paper enemy, it always says critical. I don't know if that's because fire is attacking paper and technically that's critical. Or what it is exactly. Or if it's random or not. I really don't know, but, jeez. Here we go. Oh, gosh. Oh gosh, I filled this completely. You know why? You know why? Because the stupid thing is blaring in my ears. And I've been sitting here trying to turn it down. <laughs> I can't believe I just let that happen. That is ridiculous. I should have just took one for the team and let my eardrum get busted. From how loud this game was blasting in my ear. Oh well, it's all good. There we go. Look at that. We killed a lot of paper copies. So I'm actually pretty positive that we can go ahead and just kill them like this right now. One, two, there we go. The 106 damage, holy moly, Mario. You are a freaking beast, man. All right, whatever. Whatever, we already know that it's going to kill you in one hit, so we don't even have to try. We can just go ahead and stick to doing this. Ah, I see you, big boy. There we go. Another two down in the drain. Wait, why does Mario look like he was about to trip? What the heck? Why did that mofo look like he was going to trip? That's so weird. And just like that, we defeated the boost. So now, I still have a ways to go before I have 20 stars uh, in order to use my battle cards. Otherwise, I honestly would go about battling King Boo right now just because I feel like, I don't know, like, there's really nothing else I could do besides battle him. Um, so I think what I'm going to do on my own time now is just train the Mario Bros kind of on their own and then get my battle card points or my star points up to 20. And then in the next episode, we will initiate the boss battle against King Boo, which should be exciting. Considering that, you know, King Boo is an arch nemesis of Luigi. And, uh, yeah, it's, I think it's going to be fun overall. But anyways, thank you guys all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like. And I'll see you all later for the next episode. Goodbye.